ghosting everyone isn't about cutting yourself off from the world. It's about cutting out the distractions, the negativity, the naysayers that hold you back from reaching your full potential. You have to go dark. You have to be quiet in your mind. Get away from people. Today, we gotta ghost everyone. Anyone that ever doubted us. Anyone that ever lied to us and told us that they believe in our vision. We gotta reset. We gotta focus on the reason we started everything. Why we woke up early in the morning to grind. Why we cried those tears when we wanted the world to say yes. But everyone continued to say no. You see, you gotta forget about the doubters. Forget about the doubters that told you that you didn't have what it takes to be the greatest. You've got to reset. A lot of us out here are pushing real hard. But we're afraid to go into that dark side. In your mind, when you push real hard, you have this door in your mind. And a lot of us don't want to open that door. Once you open that door, you're in a tunnel and you can't see shit. There's one thing about being in dark places. If you have the courage to stay in there long enough, your eyes will start to adjust to the darkness. Your body and mind will always adjust to more suffering, to more pain. If you want to push harder, know this, your mind quits way before your body does. Here, in the depths of darkness, away from the distractions and noise of the world, is where true transformation begins. It's the lonely hours before dawn, where the only company is the steady rhythm of your own heartbeat and the echoes of your dreams. In this solitary space, stripped of all external influences, you confront your fears, your doubts, and your limitations head on. It's here, in the crucible of the dark, that you forge the strength, resilience, and unwavering determination needed to conquer the challenges that lie ahead. Working alone in the dark isn't just about physical isolation. It's a metaphor for the internal journey of self-discovery and growth, where the shadows of doubt are banished by the light of your unyielding spirit. We love being around people, we love talking, we love, we love parties, we love all that shit. It's okay to be alone. It's also okay to be unhappy. It's okay to be unhappy sometimes, man. It's okay to say, you know what, man, I'm, I'm fucked up. So you gotta go to the truth first. Who are you? Get, get really accountable and say, okay, who am I? What's the truth about me? Get to that dark place in your mind. Figure out, it may take months, it may take years. Figure out your purpose. Figure out what you want to be in life. So you have to be willing to go way into that darkness and find more of yourself. We are surrounded by the noise. We are surrounded by the social media, the Instagram, all of these things that gives us no fulfillment. And the reason why you feel this way is because you've been surrounded by negativity. You've been surrounded by individuals that call themselves your friend. But in all reality, they are just another energy drainer. They're just another person that wants to tell you that you cannot accomplish your dreams because they failed at the every obstacle they ever tried to defeat. Let's go back to that hole. Let's go back into the darkness. This is where you win. This is where you win right here. Come on, Tony. Come on. This is where you win. Y'all motherfuckers think it's just a game. It's no fucking game, this is real shit. This is where you win. Show him, show him, show him what's up. Show him sweat. Show him sweat. Show him show on the ground over there. Give that shit to him. This is where you win. Come on, Tony, go ahead, go ahead. Come on. Come on. Let me see this. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, Tony. Come on. I only have people in my life that, that need to be there. If you don't need to be in my life, I'm not about acquiring more friends. 
I'm not about the noise. I'm about, okay, are you trying to go somewhere? You can, you can jump on board. If not, I don't want to hear all your problems. You have a solution for your problem. Some of you just don't understand. Some of you have been average for so damn long, you don't know what it is to do hard work. But there's a lot of you out there who want to be much more than average, but just don't know how to do it every single day, the grind. As the first rays of dawn break through the darkness, illuminating the path you forged in solitude, you emerge not as the same person who ventured into the night, but as a warrior transformed by the fire of self-discipline and the resilience born of solitude. With each step forward, you carry with you the lessons learned in the depths of darkness, the importance of self-reliance, the power of perseverance, and the unshakable belief in your own potential. Remember that the darkness was never an obstacle but rather the canvas upon which your brightest achievements were painted. But who are you on those fucking days when all hell broke loose? Your body's fucked up. You're sore. You're depressed. You're miserable. You're not the favorite person at school. You might be getting bullied. You might be falling behind in life. Who are you on those days when shit's all fucked up? That's the great divide. Those people who get up on those days when everything's fucked up and still grind, that's the separator right there. Stay hard.